Hi, it's time for English for Grade 5 with me, Teacher Sibele. In English this morning, we will continue looking at uh, the noun. The noun. The noun. Alright. In our previous video under nouns, we did look at one type of uh, nouns that we have. We did look at one type of nouns that we have. And the type of nouns that we looked at in the previous video was uh, collective nouns. We looked at collective nouns. We did say that uh, collective nouns are names of things that name a group. These are names of things in terms of who? A group. These are nouns that name the different groups. It could be a group of people, it could be a group of animals, it can be a group of all things. We said such nouns that name groups of things are known as a collective nouns. We said nouns that name groups of things are known as collective nouns. Now we did outline different examples of collective nouns. We listed different examples of collective nouns. For example, we did talk about collective nouns such as a pride of lions. A pride of lions. We did look at a show of fish. A show of fish. We did look at an army of soldiers. An army of soldiers. All those are some of the collective nouns that we looked at. Apart from that, we looked at words such as a gang, a gang of thieves. We looked at nouns such as a flock, a flock of sheep. We looked at words such as a swarm, a swarm of bees. We did mention to say there are a lot, a lot of collective nouns that we cannot exhaust in a day. That is not my interest today. Today I want us to look at something different, but of course something that is falling under nouns. And today I want us to look at what we are calling as the countable, countable and and countable nouns. Countable and any countable nouns. All right. So now, countable and uncountable nouns are other types of nouns. Countable and uncountable nouns are other types of nouns. We will begin with countable nouns. Countable nouns. What are countable nouns? What are countable nouns? What do you think are countable nouns? In your own understanding, what are countable nouns? Countable nouns are names of things that we can count, right? Countable nouns are names of things that we can count. It can be names of people, names of animals, it can be names of things in general. So we are saying, countable nouns, we are saying these are names. Names of all things that are, we can count, that we can count. Alright? Countable nouns are names of things that we can count. So all names of things, all the things, all names of things that we can count, we call them as countable nouns. Examples of countable nouns. Examples. 
Examples of countable nouns include things such as a, a dog, one dog, two dogs. So in other ways, what we mean by countable nouns, we are saying these are names of things that we can write in plural. We can write them in e, plural. If we have one, it means e, we can write more than one by adding an s at the end of such e, names. For example, dog. The word dog is a countable noun. Why? Because we can count e, dogs. So, if we are to count them, we will say what e? Dogs. One dog, two dogs, hundred dogs, and so on. Maybe we can say a cat. The word cat is a countable word. Now, why? Because we can count the number of cats. So we will say cat will give us what? Cats. Apart from that, we have maybe animal. Alright? We can count animals, isn't it? Yes, we can. We can count animals. We have words such as a bottle. Bottle, we have words such as book. We have words such as pencil. All these are countable nouns. Why? They are naming things that we can count one by one. So countable nouns are names of things that we can count. Names of things that we can count, we call them countable nouns. If you don't want to say there are names of things that we can count, we can say these are names of things that can be written or said in plural. When we talk about plural, we are talking about more than one. We are talking about more than one. Uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns, what do you think are uncountable nouns? What are uncountable nouns? Any idea on uncountable nouns? You might be guessing right. You might be guessing it right. Uncountable nouns are the opposite of countable nouns. Uncountable nouns are the opposite of what? Eh? Countable nouns. What do we mean by that? We are saying Uncountable nouns are names of things that we cannot do at a count. We can't count them one by one. Uncountable nouns are names of things that we can not count. So we are saying these are names of things. That we can't, we can't count. Uncountable nouns are names of things that we cannot do at a count one by one. What are some of the examples? Examples, examples of uncountable nouns. Examples of uncountable nouns, we have things such as the water. Can you count water one by one? No, you can't. You can't count the water. Sand. Can you count sand one by one? No, you can't count sand one by one. We can talk about things such as the hair in your head. Can you count your hair in your head? It's practically impossible. It's practically impossible. We can talk about sugar. Can you count sugar one by one? You can not count those things. So those things fall under a group of nouns we are calling uncountable nouns. We can write these things in plural. You cannot say waters, sands, hairs. Sugars, all right. That is the implication when it comes 
to uncountable nouns. So uncountable nouns are names of things that we cannot count, names of things that we cannot write in the plural, names of things that we cannot write in the plural. Let us look at the following chart with more uncountable nouns, with more uncountable nouns. I'll cover a little bit on the examples of who, or rather on the countable, countable nouns. Alright. So now here, if you take a look at my chart here, we are saying countable and uncountable nouns. Countable and uncountable nouns. Here we have nouns that are written in a singular form. When we talk about singular form, we are talking about one thing in one form. Then here you write them in a plural. When we say plural, more than a one. So, what is an uncountable noun. Water falls under uncountable noun. Because we can't count water, the only thing we can count, it could be maybe jerrycans of water, maybe containers of water, maybe buckets of water, maybe bottles of water. We can count bottles, but we can't count the water inside the bottles. Therefore, water is uncountable now. Sugar, we have a sugar. Normally, sugar is packed in packets. Sugar is always packed in uh, packets. We cannot count the grains of sugar. You pick the grains of sugar and start counting. It is impossible. But, we can count what? Packets. Packets of what? Sugar. Therefore, sugar falls under uncountable nouns. Aside from sugar, we have milk. Milk. Milk, it falls under uncountable what? Nouns. And it is usually measured either in liters. Apart from that, we have milk that is packed in packets. So we can count the liters now. We can measure the liters of which we are going to say liters of milk. Liters of milk. We can't count the actual milk. Soap. Soap. Soap moves in tablets. Alright, bathing soap for example. We count the tablets of soap, not the actual soap. So, soap falls under uncountable nouns. Paper, piece of wood, paper. We can count pieces of paper. We can count pieces of wood, paper, not the actual paper to say this is one paper two papers. No, it doesn't go like that. Why? Because paper falls under uncountable nouns. News. We usually listen to news either on the radio, we read news on, on our phones, we listen to news and watch it on TV. News falls under uncountable nouns. And we usually say items of news. You can only count the items of what news. You cannot count the actual news. So news was under uncountable nouns. When we look at countable nouns, we have things such as chair. We can count the number of chairs. That is why here we have added S to show that chair falls under count of what? Nouns. Person. One person. More than one, we say people. I saw two people yesterday. You will not say I saw two persons yesterday. So person 
is a countable at a noun. Child, child. We can count the we can count the children. So child is a, a countable noun. That's the reason why we are having children here. Why? Because we can count one, two, three hundred children. Day. We can count this. We can count uh, this. So day is a countable noun. Foot. We can count your foot. You can count your foot. For example, you have two feet. You have two feet. So foot is a countable noun. Mouse. Mouse. It can be a computer mouse. It can be uh, that small, small animal. We can count them as well. That's why in plural we have them as a mice. Mice. So viewers, when we talk about countable and uncountable nouns, we are saying countable nouns are names of things. These are names of things that we can do at a eh? that we can count. Aside from counting them, we can write them in plural like we have done. Countable nouns are names of things that we can count. These are names of things that we can write in plural as we have seen on this chart and from these examples that we have on the board. Examples of countable nouns we have dog, cat, Animal, bottle, book, pencil, chair, person, child, day, foot, mouse. All these are examples of all countable nouns. What about uncountable nouns? Uncountable nouns. We are saying uncountable nouns are names of things. These are names of things that we can't do at end, that we can't count. Uncountable nouns are names of things that we can't count. Examples include water, sand, hair, sugar, air, milk, and all those. So that is the discussion that we can have on e, countable and uncountable nouns. If you are not clear, you are free to contact me on my personal phone number. I will be willing to explain more on such. I have a short exercise that uh, I will request you to do at home. Find time and do this short exercise. The instructions are that pick out uncountable nouns from the words below. Pick out uncountable nouns from all the words below. So we have these words. Oil, bag, fire, ink, thief, rod, bow, brain, pasta, baby, car, wind, sugar, electricity, salt, sugarcane, water. So from these words, you are requested to pick only uncountable nouns. Make a list of uncountable nouns from these words that we have here. Try to attempt and do this exercise. With this short exercise, it marks the end of our lesson in English under countable and uncountable nouns. This video was brought to you by Fountain School. Until next time, shalom, shalom.